Hi, my name is Nate McClendon. I am the teaching artist here at Beach Museum on campus of Kansas State University and also your host for Hear What I'm Seeing, where I bring in musicians and different creative people to look at art and then reinterpret it in whatever medium they are fluent in. Today, my guest is Dr. Paul Hunt, um, professor here at Kansas State University. Paul, welcome to Hear What I'm Seeing. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thanks for being here. Um, so as we get started, can we start with what this process was like for you, having to come in and find a piece of art, well, uh, let it speak to you, and then figure out how to convey that musically? Sure. Well, as soon as I walked in the hall and saw the meatball, Kansas meatball <laughs> by Alan Shields, um, that one started talking to me almost immediately. There is something about the uh, metal tubes and all the color the angles, all of those things grab me. There's a feeling that comes from looking at a, a piece of art, piece of sculpture. And um, sometimes it's hard to put in words. That was one of the things that appealed to me about this project was I could kind of, if I wanted to, improvise my way into it um, and see what happened. <laughs> Always remember, there's no, there's no, always remember, 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 always remember, there's no, always remember, there's no time. Um, the piece of music that I landed on almost immediately is a piece, it's actually a part of a piece that I wrote called R.E. Re, Memorandum for Bob. Uh, and I broke it into three movements. It was written for my dad upon his passing. Um, he was a basketball coach. The movements include the third movement, that's the one that I included today, it's called Jump Shot. And then part of the material that I used for that piece was the soundtrack from a video that I found online. It's actually called Duck and Cover. As a kid, I remember seeing the video on television right. and I think it's like Tommy the turtle or Timmy the turtle teaches you what to do in the case of a nuclear strike. Duck and cover. It's somewhere in the piece where I'm playing one of the things I kind of captured and played on with the playback is Paul covered the back of his head so it wouldn't get burned. And that actually is part of the original track. I, and of course, when I found that, that I had actually made it into the video, I thought, oh my gosh, this is, this is made for me. Um, and curiously, that covering his back of his head in a nuclear strike was to take a, like a newspaper paper or, or a phone book to cover the back of your head so it wouldn't get burned. All covered the back of his head. All covered, all covered, all covered. All covered the back of his head. When you first look at it, it looks kind of like an atom. So I was immediately intrigued with this idea of the atomic bomb or there's a sphere around the outside and then there's another piece inside. And uh, what I did when I played it this time around uh, is I used uh, a, basically a four note melody that is kind of like the center or the atom of it. So if you're hip to the, hip to the notes, that's B-A-C-H. So the first four notes I play are, are uh, a code of Johann Sebastian Bach's last name. I was reading about Alan Shields online because I was interested about who this guy was. He would use things found and then not really so much repurpose them but change them. He's got a certain thing in his head and then after he matured, 
20 years later, he was still kind of molding that piece. Well, that's kind of how I took this piece of music as well. I took parts of it and kind of repurposed it without changing it too much. I wrote the piece for my dad soon after he passed away, so I, I think it's probably about 10, 15 years old. Um, but to revisit it so that I could put a new spin on it. Yeah. Well, I have to say, knowing you the way that I do, I am not surprised when you told me that you were going to do the Kansas Meatball. <laughs> I'm like, of course you are. That's, that's perfect. Um, so intrigued by the the piece and how you connected it to that that piece of art it's so interesting so i i want to thank you for being here incredible piece incredible playing as you always play so well so thank you for being here paul i thank appreciate you. it appreciate the opportunity to be here and play music in this beautiful facility <laughs> Just what to do. Ask your teacher when this was over. Wait. <laughs>